This is the uh, Brisk Bros Risk v multi-core project demo for EC551. Um, so here we have our Mandelbrot fractal rendered by a core on the but rendered by a Risk v core. So we're starting. We're showing you this first because it takes too long to demo, so we won't be able to show you the fully rendered version. So I'm going to reset the processor now. And so the processor prints out uh, a menu um, and gives you four options. So we have modes, like the arithmetic mode. So that's an error. So we have error checking if the serial port sends a bad byte. So we'll enter the arithmetic mode. And so we can do basic math. And again, there's error checking if the serial port um, is bad. And so values input, um, valid inputs are 0 to 9, but then outputs um, can be greater than 9. Um, but they do have to be positive. Um, and then we also have uh, the benchmark mode. So we can do the, compute the Fibonacci sequence um, out to 9 characters. And so all of these are running on core zero. Um, and then core one is dedicated to the Mandelbrot fractal. So go, entering mode M will start the Mandelbrot. And so now you can see it's slowly rendering uh, the Mandelbrot set on the screen. And then um, we can continue to enter other modes running on core zero. So this is the uh, Fibonacci sequence again. And so here's a, a different length. Um, and then finally, so to control the two cores, we have interrupts on both cores. So we can enter I mode um, and set a PC on the uh, core zero. And so we have a separate function to show that the interrupts do work. And this function is not called anywhere in the main program. Um, so jumping to jumping to this address, we'll enter this loopback function. And so there, here the serial port is just reading data and printing it back to the serial port. Um, and then finally, if you hit escape, it will trigger another interrupt, which sets the processor PC to zero and resets uh, core zero. Um, but you can see the Mandelbrot fractal is still, still going. And then um, finally, to clear the program, to clear the core zero after it's finished the Mandelbrot fractal, we have mode C to clear the screen. So entering mode C will um, clear the screen here. And so we're using interrupts to jump between the um, Mandelbrot section and the clear section of the core one code. Uh, thank you for all. Thank you for watching.